Mark Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're taking a look at Blue Cat Audio's Rehead. Let's dive right into it. So this is Rehead. It seeks to solve the problem of headphone listening versus monitor listening. So when you're listening over a headphones, you get the left channel right in the left ear and the right channel right in the right ear, and they sound totally isolated. And as a result, uh, it's a different experience than listening over monitors, right? Where the the music or the sound being emitted by the left speaker may be overlapping with the music from the right speaker. And as such, you get the effect of what people say monitors sound like. So here we've got a plugin that basically just seeks to simulate this. And you could use this to do some correctional things if you'd like to, or you can use this to do some creative things. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate both of those. Of course, you're gonna wanna be listening over headphones to get the full effect of what's going on here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start it right here because I have some interesting panning things going on. I think it'll be a little more obvious what exactly is going down. So first thing I'm going to do is we have our stereo width. Right now, it's basically been set up uh, left, right. As we move it back and forth, we're going to get a more narrow field until we're at zero, which is mono, and then come back. Uh, and this could be a really cool thing to automate as well because it's, uh, it's kind of like panning, but it's not quite. So it's a pretty cool effect. So let's go ahead and just play this and vary it. So that's the, that's the stereo width. Now we have this other control over here called speaker position. It's, we're given a, a degree control. And as we move it down, this will actually flip. So if we bring it down here, you can see it flips. So let me go ahead and just vary this while this is left alone so that you can hear sort of what this is doing. Uh, so you can right click to reset values, by the way, very useful to know. So let's go ahead and play it. I'll just move this around. So you also notice we have this option for binaural. Let's go ahead and turn that off and just give you a vibe for what this is going to do. Now let's go ahead, let's vary it. Let's put it down here at the uh, negative 90-ish, whatever, 91, good enough. And I'm gonna move this around as well. I uh, just say so you hear what it sounds like when we've got the speaker sort of in an unusual position. This, this has some pretty cool implications on what you could do with panning. Like you heard on that boom sound, uh, you could put this just on the boom sound, right? So I have this on the master right now because that's typically what people are going to do. But you could put this just on the boom sound and automate this back and forth with this being moved possibly as well. And you could just get some really, really cool spatial effects that are really, really easy to accomplish uh, this way and would sound, I think, pretty unique compared to just standard... Uh, methods for creating stereo effects. So that's what we have here. We also have the ability to flip ears. So right, left becomes right, right becomes left. And another really cool thing over here is the EQ. So you have like your brightness and your gain controls. So uh, they, they're pretty self-explanatory. But if you turn on the EQ, you can open it up here. And they actually have a whole bunch of curves in here uh, for various things. So right, some basic uh, standard filtering stuff. And then they've got a bunch of modeling for different headsets. So I'm using M50s. So I have the M50 preset selected right now. Uh, but you could choose a different one. You could go for AirPods and just see how bad those are. Or you could go to a different one and see how bad that one is or good. I don't know. And you can go through and sort of just make these adjustments. So this is really cool. This one's a lot harder to demonstrate over YouTube because... Uh, you'd need that pair of headphones, uh, but here it is. Let's play it without the corrections and then I'll play it with. So here it was without all this is in uh, the default position again. All right, 
Now let's go ahead and let's turn it on and hear it with. So it'll help smooth out your headphone responses. Now, just a word of uh, warning, sort of when you use stuff like this, this, these are general EQ curves, probably based on averages. Your particular headset's gonna have its own unique profile. And if you wanna get really intense, you'd go and you'd get it measured. And the left channel can often be different than the right channel. And so you'll need to make adjustments like that as well. But this is a really great way to just sort of pro provide a general approach to it. So really, really cool plugin, a lot of interesting abilities. Uh, besides the panning thing that I mentioned here, the flip ears is another one that is a pretty interesting setting to turn on and off at will. So I'm gonna turn the EQ off and uh, hide it. So they have the show hide, but the power button's on the other side. So this does not control the EQ being on or off. So just be aware of that. Uh, so the flip ears is something like, for example, I have these clarinets here, they're down here. And, you know, they're doing a thing and then they do something different over here. It'd be kind of cool to have these ones with the flip ears sort of just regular. So maybe I leave it alone, but I, maybe I move it, maybe a touch. Maybe I automate this a bit while it's happening. And I play it. And for this one, I flip it. And maybe you move it some more and you flip them. So I think there's a lot more uh, creative possibilities. It's really it's really pushed towards those that want to uh, simulate speaker placement and things like that. But as far as panning and spatial effects go, I think this is also kind of like a hidden gem for how unique it is for what it does. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day.